What is up, guys? It's been a few days since I got back from Oakland, California, and the reality that the Oakland Athletics would no longer call the Oakland Coliseum home has fully set in. And as a passionate fan of the game, I couldn't miss the opportunity to see the A's play in front of the most passionate fan base in baseball one final time. So that's why last week I went to the Athletics' final two home games in Oakland Coliseum history, and I wanted to share that experience with you. Also, it's kind of been a while since I last uploaded, so hi, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Please let me know. My trip to Oakland started no different than my first time out there in 2014, with eagerness to see live baseball in one of MLB's most atmospheric venues. Of course, the Coliseum, which is the last remaining multi-purpose stadium in baseball, feels sort of stuck in time, serving as a look into the past to an era where these cookie-cutter behemoths were lovingly referred to as concrete donuts. Making the walk from my hotel down Coliseum Way invoked the same excitement I'd gotten from every visit to Oakland over the years, but there was something in the air that was hard to describe. I won't lie, this feels very surreal to be here right now. It's also like three hours before first pitch, the second to last game, and uh, yeah, wow, it's surreal. With so much time to kill before first pitch, I simply walked around the Coliseum, taking in all the sights, the sounds, the fans, the staff, everything that makes this place so special. It's really impossible to describe unless you've been here, but the Coliseum vibes are truly unmatched. Since it opened in the 1960s, it's been home of the Athletics since their move from Philadelphia in 1968. And over the decades, it's had a reputation of being dirty, run down, or simply unfit for baseball. Honestly, I've always taken an affinity towards the Coliseum, feeling as though its perceived negatives are all surface level. The real charm of this stadium is found in the stands. It's that quote-unquote green-collar vibe that the city of Oakland represents. The characters, the super fans, the diehards that represent Oakland through and through. Now, these fans would keep pouring in as we got closer and closer to first pitch, and my anticipation to see a ball game slowly faded into a feeling of sadness. I can't say it's bittersweet because it's all just bitter. It's not very sweet at all, unless you count the Ranger fans that are here who have been excellent. And I've seen a lot of just like other teams, fans that are here just to experience history. That's why we're here. Wanted to come and experience a fun, exciting ball game, and hopefully we'll get that. But... This is the first time I've been in a ballpark where I truly just felt sad. Baseball's got magic healing powers to make you feel better, and <laughs> we'll see if that happens. The A's would lose this Wednesday night game a final score of 5-1. to one. In just 12 hours, this place would see its final home game during a legacy history that hoisted four World Series trophies in nearly six decades. And honest to God, this final home game absolutely flew by, and the sellout crowd would go on to witness a 3-2 victory. Of course, there's many moments that stand out. Barry Zito's national anthem, the flyover, the crowd atmosphere and the chants, and of course, the final out. But for me, simply sharing this day with 47,000 of my closest friends will stick with me forever. Criticizing the Coliseum is easy, but it's disingenuous as a baseball fan because any real fan will tell you that the Oakland fans are among the most loyal and passionate supporters in the sport. I was able to secure the piece of memorabilia most important to me, dirt from the Coliseum. A tiny but tangible piece of baseball history to keep forever, reminding me of all the great memories I've made in this stadium over the years. Your name again? I'm Alex. Alex, Alex one more time, cheers. cheers. This is Oakland dirt, I'm not gonna drink it, <laughs> but cheers. Other fans took chairs, or cup holders, or even, according to rumors, the infamous urinal troughs from the men's restrooms. Despite the win, perhaps the baseball god's way of sending Oakland out with a consolation prize, the crowd left with a heavy heart. Final thoughts, leaving the Coliseum. Man, bittersweet is not the right word. Bitter. Bitter is the right word. A's win, but no one's happy. This was the last one in Oakland Coliseum history. I'm holding in my hand. Some dirt from the Coliseum, there's about 10 ounces of it. It's a big part of baseball history. There's some shit on the sidewalk. And that about, that about sums it up. That about sums up what this feeling is like. It just kills me, you know what I mean? It's like my heart bleeds for this city, for this team. And as a baseball fan, this is it's just awful. I expected maybe a little bit of like, maybe some more rowdiness than we got, which maybe is a testament to the A's fans to just kind of like appreciate what it was that we saw, and that was the end of an era. Baseball's better with the athletics and they're best when they stay in Oakland. This was a tough day. I'd go on to trade some Coliseum dirt with the fine folks at Chubby Freeze in exchange for one of the best meals of my life. While for the athletics in the city of Oakland, the leaves of change began falling. Or something like that.
I wanted this video to be more fun and uplifting, but honestly, my heart just bleeds for the city of Oakland and its fans. And the Athletics are set to move to Las Vegas before a multi-year stint playing in Sacramento. And to be perfectly clear, ownership greed allowed that to happen, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The Oakland fans care about this team, and John Fisher and the rest of the ownership group absolutely do not. And the Coliseum does live on thanks to contracts with the Oakland Roots and Oakland Soul soccer teams. So down, but never out, Oakland still has life to give. I have faith in Oakland and its fans. I have faith in the future of baseball in the city of Oakland. So as a fan of baseball, I wouldn't have missed these games for the world. And as a fan of the Oakland Athletics, I can't wait for the next one. So let's go Oakland. Thanks for watching.